Alright guys, welcome back and in this tutorial I want to show you guys about this cool little bit of code called the increment operator. Now what this is, is it's a really quick and efficient way to either add one or subtract one from a variable. And we'll see later on why this is actually not even useful but like pretty much necessary. So let's just go ahead and make a quick little variable right now and actually I don't want to name it X, that's boring. Let's name it Tuna because I love Tuna. and that sounded kind of weird. I like, love to. I don't know. Whatever. So, anyways, we'll just go ahead and print it out on the screen. Print F. Do love to know though. And since this is percent D, and we'll kick it to a new line. So we print out tuner right now, and of course, it prints out 20 on the screen. Nothing that exciting about that. So the cool thing I want to talk to you guys about is this operator. And what it is is it's basically a symbol that you add right after your variable name. So type in your variable name, in my case Tuna, and add two little plus signs. Now what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to say, okay, I'm going to add one to um, your variable. So increase its value by one. So now Tuna is equal to 21. So if I copy and print it out now, check it out. It was 20. That's why I printed this out. And then it added one and it printed out the new value. Now you can also do this with minus minus. Of course, this takes away one or subtracts one from your variable. So let me close this and run it again. And that's why you got 19. Now another thing that I want to point out and that confuses a lot of people is this. If I just showed you guys this example and I put that increment operator before tuna and ran this, you guys are going to be like, okay. 24, 21. So it really doesn't matter if you have it before or after the variable because it adds one. What the heck? I never even. Oh, same guy's texting me again. Freaking want to every time he wants to eat Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Shut up. Oh, bagels with my stupid cat. All right. So right now you may be thinking, all right, it doesn't matter if you have this before or after tuna. It adds one to it. Tomato, tomato. But actually, even though. Um, it looked the same right now there is a huge difference and I'll show you guys an example and once you guys see this everything is begun gonna become crystal clear so let's go ahead and make three variables and a equals set equal to anything you want set mine equal to 5 B equal to 10 and let's, let's just like uh, go ahead and multiply these numbers together so restore that value and answer and right now it's equal to zero, but we'll change that later on. So let's just do something stupid like take answer and set it equal to what would it do first? Plus plus a. And remember that's the increment operator, so it's gonna add one to the value of a, which would become six, and multiply it by b. We'll just keep b the same. And now I just want to show you guys the answer on the screen. And we'll just put the answer percent D and we'll bump it to a new line. So that's pretty much going to say, okay, A times B, print it out on the screen. Easy enough, simple stuff. And you actually probably need answer right there if you want to print something out. And now what I want to do is I actually want to copy all of this and I want to do the exact same thing again, but just changing a few things. Now the first thing I want to mention is this. The reason that I copied this first line as well is because I want to reset our variables back to normal. Because right now we added one to a, so that's going to become six. Six. Oh, excuse me. So reset that back to five, and also answer is going to go from zero to whatever this is. So reset that back to zero, so we can calculate it again. And also, whenever you're resetting. Um, your variables values make sure that you get rid of that int keyword that is only for you only need to say that one time just to tell C um, what type of data you're going to store in that variable you don't need it again um, it already knows that we're storing ints so get rid of it so right now these pretty much print out the exact same thing so what I wanted to demonstrate is what happens when you have those plus signs called the increment operator on the right hand side instead of the left. So run this bad boy and check it out. Even though we use that same 
increment operator and even though we use the same equation one time we got 60 and one time we got 50 so what the heck is going on why did that do that because we know that this plus plus sign as we saw before it just adds one it turned that 20 into 21 so why are we getting different answers well the reason is because whenever you use the plus sign on the left it works a little bit differently than on the right whenever you use it on the left it changes the value of a before it runs this equation so you can kind of think of this is that add one to a here so it adds one to a before it changes the equation and then this becomes six right now so that's why we got sixty now whenever you have it after the a it pretty much runs the equation with the current value which is five and then it changes the value after it so if we were to print out a after this it would be six so just remember um, that's basically what's going on when you have it on the left hand side it said okay change the value of a before you do anything else when you have it after it it says okay do the equation run this line of code and then change a after so that is why we get these little differences and you know even though it's just a small detail to take care of when you're talking about 60 and 50 that can be you know a difference between like 60 pounds of gold and 50 pounds of gold is a big mistake so uh if you're programming then that's another thing you want to keep an eye out for so hopefully you guys understand i know it's like uh two little symbols and i spent a lot of time on it but i'm going to show you guys why this is incredibly useful in the future and well thank you guys for watching and see you next time